So the ETI today is announcing its next generation capture technology gas capture project. Uh, this is looking at a, a new and a novel capture technology specifically for gas-fired power stations. When you put capture technology onto any type of power station there's an inevitable penalty in terms of the, the cost of the electricity you're exporting from that power station and also the additional cost of building in the equipment, the capture technology, onto that power station. So the ETI's projects in this area are very much focusing on reducing that cost penalty. We have a, a project which is already running, which is our coal technology project. That's being led by a company called Costain, who are based in the UK. And that project has been running for a year now and is looking forward towards the, the demonstration of that technology. The project we're announcing today is focused uh, squarely at gas-fired power stations. And it's a, a post-combustion capture technology. So once the, the gas has been through the power station, we then capture the CO2 from that. This is a, uh, a project which is led by a, a consortium. Uh, we have a company called Inventis, um, who are the uh, developers of the technology. They're working in partnership with a, a number of companies. Um, we have Howden, who are based in the UK, who develop the, the rotating device in which adsorbents are placed. We have Dusan, who again are based in Renfrew. Uh, they design and help with the, the engineering support for the, um, the demonstration project. And we also have a, a company called Mast, who are based in Basingstoke in England, who have developed and will be manufacturing the adsorbent sticks which go into the rotating device. We also have an ETI member, Rolls-Royce, who will be supporting the project with their, their expertise on turbine design. And so we have a, a very good team which have all the relevant expertise to, to really deliver this project. The scale of the project, the initial demonstration, which will be carried out in, in Vancouver, is at the 30 kilowatt scale. We'll then be following it on with a, a 5 megawatt scale demonstration, which will be based in the UK. The total cost of the, the project will be in the region of £20 million. And we're hoping to be able to demonstrate that this technology can reduce the cost of electricity coming from the power station by 13% when we compare it against conventional aiming capture technology, which is the, the benchmark the ETI has used to, to mark these projects against.